Hey everybody, Cool Pika here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Earthbound. In the last part, we traveled away through the dreaded desert with white and black sesame seeds, tanny people, and monsters, and awfully dreadful editing. And in this part, we have made our way to Forsyth despite the little drastically detour. And beyond this path is Forsyth. So let us make our way there as we cross through this amazing and mysterious spooky tunnel that really is just a driving tunnel. And here is where it gets exciting. This is where the music's getting good. We might as well just cross our bridge now. And after we cross this bridge, we will be on our way into fourth side. Now this is where it seems to get way interested in the game. Oh. Don't forget the photographer. Don't forget the photographer guy. Yeah, who can forget about him? Long way to start off the video. Anyways, let us just keep controlling on. Make our way to Forsyth. Okay. Once we exit this tunnel, we are going to be in Cincinnati! No, 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 I'm kidding. It's Forside. And here we are, and Forside. Oh, sorry. I did it again. Now, this is where. Now, this is where the game actually turned on for most people. My most childhood memories. The city of Forsyth has developed quite a bit. Since Mr. Gandalf H. Moltoli hit the big time, it's been good for the city. Okay, so there's a guy named Mr. Gandalf H. Moltoli that hit big time and made it good for the city. Sounds just a bit interesting and a little something to know. The Runway 5 of Tucson seemed very popular. I heard that the total of theater is always full. Sounds interesting. That's the total of city. Apparently, Runway 5 made it through the way to the big time. Speaking of Topola City, the new singer Venus, she's a bit other than the one away five. I'm totally bonkers about her. You know, we might have heard about a Venus back in Tucson, if you guys recall. Why were those guys digging for very gold? If they found gold, it would be a worth amount of money. They'd be all to a million dollar debt very easily. If I were them, I'd go to Japan and live it up. Wise words said, my friend. Wise words. In the old days, Mr. Melanzilla was just a regular, unattractive real estate agent. Now he's a power to control the police force. I don't think Sarah is better than before. Hmm. Does that mean he can be, like, powerful than the president? Hmm. Who knows? And anyways, as you can see here, we have arrived at a baker. And if you guys recall correctly, there's a guy we gotta give a, a, a contact list to, and there's a guy, apparently, they belong to Mr. T himself. Let's give him, let's give Mr. T his contact lens now, shall we? What? You came back to deliver my grandma's mentor to contact lens? Thank you! Thank you so much! Our families and children are the key things to you forever! Okay, I'll give you something as a reward! Here's my socks that I use for only special occasions! Uh, I've worn these socks for five, five years! I know holes and they've only been worn since the last washing! They're a little stinky, little, but they're still good! Hey, don't refuse me here! I'm being generous! Uh, pair of socks? Yay? Police can't get good with my socks! <laughs> okay. When used during battle, they can get nauseous the right odor. They cannot five. Gone after one use. Okay, so that's what it does. Okay, now you know what that is. We get a pair of socks as a reward. So anyways, there is apparently a place called Montilla. Gotta like Montilla. And he's apparently the made it the big time. And there's a department store. And we can't go in. Temporary clothes blocked. That sounds suspicious. Okay, so this is apparently Montoli's building. We should probably check it out. 
this. Your boys are sneaking around Mr. looking for Mr. Multoli, aren't you? If I catch you two boys doing anything, I'll arrest you. No questions asked. Be prepared. Got it, Jordan? Ah! I've checked your name already. Okay. A many many statue should be around here somewhere. So we should actually try and check here. Since this is a bit suspicious. Hello, Babyface. What brings you to the Multoli building? Baby face? Oh, that is a terrible insult. Last night, there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait. Do you even know what solitaire is? I'm a elite businessman who works in Montali's office. Alright, that's never enough for you to know. Let's go ahead and head our way into this elevator. This elevator goes is only for Master Pokey's use. Oh, great. Apparently he made his way here. Alright, let's go see what the pig's up to. And I stare wherever I want. Oh boy, we got top big government change so here. Oh you're afraid of Master Pokey. It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be taking a special view and plot. Shot you with a machine gun. I don't think that's legal! Get on a machine gun with a, a bunch of kids? Would you seriously do that? Would you seriously do that? Oops. I almost gonna beat you up. <sighs> First the police, now, the, now these guys. Anyways. Let's go check this door. Oh my. Oh my god. Is that. No way. You have a change, Mush Jordan! I'm Alice Mush Pokey's man! Due to my son's success, I now live a life of a rich man! Every dog has his day! And the private power to describe me! <laughs> Woo! Why y'all is tired! Woo! Been a while since I've done that! Still got it. Okay, I'm the public pokey's next door. You won't get away from me, kid. Get away from me, kid. Well, well, well. If it isn't the total snob himself, look at what you become, you dirty little pig. Ooh la la! This, this is my poor old friend. Ah, what's your name? Bigfoot? No, no, Jordan. Have you come here to make me some money? No. I want to wonder if there's like some weird golden statue here. Ooh la la! Don't you recognize me? I'm Mr. Pokey. Pokey, get it? I'm Galloway's Maltali's partner, and I give him political and economic advice. I heard I look at some right looking kids acting from Mr. Tultoli. Was that you, Jordan? This is a place for kids like for likes of you. Get out of here! I a loser! Oh, what, 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 what. oh man, now he has power! Something's really fishy going on here. You must never show your face around Mr. Folk. You got that? Something real fishy's going on around here. I mean, it's not just the fact that how Pokey is now, like, his Mr. Multali's partner. It's also the fact, wherever the Manny Manny statue goes, Pokey's there. Because the last time, which makes you wonder, Pokey wasn't hypnotized. It seems like Pokey already knew about the Manny Manny statue before he was even in Happy Happy Village. Anyways, we can't do anything in there for now, so we might as well do go check something else out. Okay, another thing we can actually go check. So for now, while we, so for now, we have, since we can't do anything else, we might as well go somewhere else. Well, as 
we can see here, there's a couple of cylinders. Let's just check on the one right by, just for good old sake. Shall we? Do you want to buy a ticket? Oh yeah, 30 bucks. Now let's give this guy our ticket, and see what's up with the Runaway 5. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The elevator show them will be started at any moment. Alright, this seems to be the place. Let's go check out the Runaway 5. What the heck? What the heck is this? It's a total blonde convention! I mean, look at this! All the rooms are just a bunch of blonde people! What is this? What the heck is this? This is nuts! I mean, seriously, do you see a problem here? There's just so many! And it's like, Ness is the only kid with black hair, while Paul and Jeff are just also blonde and fit in with the crowd. Dot dot. Quiet. Quiet. That's all you guys are gonna say. Well, let's go to the door. When Jordan arrived, the runaway five told me to let him in. So please come in. Oh, that is so sweet. They remember us. It must be them. Let's see what trouble they got themselves into. We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle money or women. Do up, do up, do up. To meet Master Gullway Maltoli, you'll need our help. I don't know exactly why, it's just a hunch. Hmm, how could you guess? Sounds interesting. We owe you guys so much. Sorry. We're so helpless. Really helpless. <laughs> Again! We've been cheated by the senior owner! We're stuck here with a phony contract! Oh yeah! Oh, great. Apparently now they've got ripped off. And, and worst of all, they're getting ripped off from the wrong people. Total snobs, to be exact. Anyways, we should just go to the car. I've got a bombshell for you tonight, kids. Kaboom! The Runaway Five! Yeah! Three, two, one! Go! Good as always, good as always. It's still a shame that they're not getting a lot of money. Ugh. They deserve better than this. We might have... But anyways, come to think of it, we do... There's that guy that's offering gold that we found here. So we can always... If we ever get that, we can always help them out. And we'll talk to this lady with you what she has to say. So, you are one way five fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no. The band owes me a million bucks! Holy crap! We're talking... Dude, they really went in the hole! They break their con, they will be a deep dude with the police! Rose, they say, hey you guys, or something like that. Or beat them up. Hmm, we'll see about that. We'll see about that, my friend. Because I think I know someone that...